Hello, I'm Mark James from RS Components. And I'm Greg Cameron from RS Components, Design Spark. And in this short video, we're going to show you how industrial IoT can be used to connect your legacy PLC products and other devices to the wider Ethernet and Internet network. We're going to be doing that with a combination of Brainbox's products and other products available from the RS range. So what we'd like to do now is to take you through the three separate elements contained within the demo board and explain a little bit more around what each of these elements is actually doing. For the first element, we're going to look at legacy PLC and how we can actually get the data contained out into the real world. On the demo board, we have a Schneider Electric Programmable Logic Controller, in this case, the M221. This is connected locally to a Magellus HMI, Human Machine Interface, via a Modbus Serial Communication. In this case, the Modbus communication is only between the PLC and the HMI. The M221 PLC has an Ethernet port which simplifies connection to the wider network. And this is routed through the Brainbox's Ethernet switch. However, if your legacy PLC doesn't have an Ethernet port, Brainboxes have a range of products which allow Ethernet to serial communication. We're now going to look at the way that the data, once released onto Ethernet, can enter the wider network. So once this first step of getting the legacy PLC control data, which can be serial communication or digital IO signals onto Ethernet, we have a number of choices. In this case, we're using a Brainboxes solution, which allows the data to be accessed by the wider Ethernet network or even the internet. Central to this link is the ED204. This device enables the Modbus data, now on Ethernet, and any local or remote digital signals to be interrogated. In our demonstration, this data flow is between the ED204 and the PLC and HMI. However, this could easily be between a legacy PLC system and a PC running software packages such as LabVIEW or MATLAB. We're now going to look at how that data can be used in a remote I.O. application. With the remote I.O. network now in place, this can easily be expanded to allow the PLC to control or be controlled remotely. Again, because the signals are now being transferred via Ethernet, this remote location can be on the same site or network or elsewhere on the Internet. In this demonstration, we are using an ED527 Ethernet to digital output module to take the PLC batch count data and display that remotely. It also enables a calling fan and buzzer to be activated, which previously would have required additional cabling. This is just one example of industrial IoT. RS have a variety of solutions, products and brands that can help users unlock data trapped inside legacy PLC systems. To find out more about IoT technology, brands, products and how we're helping engineers solve their problems for global connectivity, simply visit RS Components and search IoT.